in this video we are going to talk about governance we are going to define what governance is and we are going to look at type of governance and some characteristics of governance okay so to start with we are going to define what governance is so governance by definition is simply is simply uh governance is the way people are ruled with or without their consent so it's simply the way people are ruled with or without their consent so there are two types of governance we have a good governance and a bad governance so let's look uh, let's start by looking at uh, what a good governance is and its characteristics so a good governance is simply a government which is legitimate competent accountable and respects human rights and the rule of law a government which is accountable where there is competition where there is the respect of human rights and the rule of law is called the good governance okay so good governance has some uh, importance yeah so there are some importance of uh, the importance of good governance firstly a uh, good governance enables citizens to enjoy human rights and freedom so a good governance is the one which has which allows uh, citizens to enjoy human rights and there is freedom okay secondly it makes the government accountable it makes the government accountable to the people and makes government operations transparent so it makes the government accountable to the people uh, to the people and makes government operations transparent or what the government is done is seen okay so that's the uh, importance of good governance and thirdly it uh, also um, have uh, the citizens have the right to know what the government does and for them and uh, it also had the leadership which intends to solve citizens problems so in good governance citizens have the right so it is the right of the citizens to know what the government does for them or how the leadership intends to solve their problem so in good governance there is that thing so uh, it also enables citizens to fully participate in electing leaders of their choice so in good governance there is participation of citizens uh, in elections to elect leaders of their own choice okay so uh, let's also look at characteristics how can we know uh, that this is a good governance or a bad governance or a good governance always have the following firstly citizen participation citizen participate in the uh, government affairs and secondly there is rule of law so all what the government does is that it does all the operations before the law or it refers to the constitution for their uh, government operations so and thirdly it respects it respects human rights and there is regular free and fair elections number five the existence of political parties okay so in a good governance always there is existence of political party multipartism and uh number six we have uh, the, there is also accountability and transparency when you say accountability that is the government which is answerable to the people's needs and transparency or what the government is doing should be seen on the news on the media okay so number seven there is also separation of powers there is also separation of power okay so all the wings of the government should be separate should be separate there must be no restrictions so there must be separation of powers all the wings of government that such as the executive the judiciary and the legislature should be separate okay but there must be check and balances okay so those are the characteristics of good governance so let's also look at bad governance we said there are two types we have good and bad governance so let's look at bad governance so bad governance is simply a government in which uh, which is not legitimate competent accountable and does not respect does not respect 
human rights and the rule of law. So there is no competition in bad governance. There is no accountability and human rights are violated and the rule of law is not uh, respected. Okay, so that's the definition of a bad governance. And now let's look at characteristics. What are some of the characteristics? How can we know that this is a good or this is a bad governance? So in a bad governance, there is always firstly lack of separation of power lack of separation of power the wings of government such as le the legislature judiciary and the executive are not separate are not separate they operate under the same conditions and then secondly there is violation of human rights human rights in bad governance are violated are violated and thirdly restriction of political parties you cannot form a political party in a bad governance or if you can form then there must be some restrictions there is a restriction of political parties and number four there is also lack of freedom of association and assembly you cannot assemble in a bad governance and number five irregular and unfair elections so there may not, not be elections or if the elections are there then they are unfair in bad governance and number six neglect of public welfare neglect of public welfare the government is not answerable to people's needs and do not care about the people's welfare that's in bad governance and number seven there is also lack of citizen participation lack of citizens participation citizens do not participate in making the laws of the country they do not even participate in government affairs so that is in bad governance so that's all uh, for in this video so if you like the, the this video then click on that like button and if you don't like it just click on that unlike uh, icon down there and don't forget to leave out a comment and subscribe to so that you don't miss out any of my videos thank you very much